Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I decided I would do a video on pen cleaning or pen hygiene. A lot of people obviously will either not rinse their pens or they will rinse them at the sink. Um, there are other ways. You can use a uh, sort of pen bowl filler and actually flush out pens that way or you can use this way and this is an ultrasonic cleaner and all you do it's basically a bath that you put your pens or your nibs in and then you fill it with water it has a little tray here you can see putting the nibs in and then you power it on and it powers on for anywhere between sort of one and five minutes uh, you can normally set the duration and it has an electrical current that basically vibrates it's an ultrasonic cleaner just like an ultrasonic toothbrush so it oscillates and it helps get some of the dried up ink out of your nibs and feeds and your sections as well and it just really helps you clean the pen and some people like myself will normally rinse the pen out first and then I will use an ultrasonic cleaner once I feel that I've got all of the ink out but then some people will literally just take 10 20 or 30 pens and put them in an ultrasonic cleaner or ultrasonic bath and just run them for four five six maybe even ten cycles uh, I normally find that if I clean my nibs out really well with a, a, a like a bulb flusher, if it's a uh, converter, or if I just rinse it out, if it's a, a piston or a power vac filler, then if I probably fill it maybe 10, 12 times with some water, I will get most of the ink out of the nib and feed. And if I then put it into the ultrasonic cleaner, like I have done here, then at that point there won't be a lot of ink that comes out now these nibs and feeds and sections I put in here uh, I didn't clean out beforehand I just put these in here so you can actually see a number of things here so you can see some feeds on their own you can see sections you can see nibs and you can see the whole nib feed and section now what I would suggest is that you don't try and soak anything that is ebonite or hard rubber because that will cause problems likewise anything that is celluloid as well only do something that is a, a plastic or resin uh, type uh, compound you're not putting it in here for long uh, you're using for the most part cold water cold tap water you can use uh, some distilled water if you choose but personally I just use tap water because uh, that's what I normally flush my pens out with anyway but you can see here that you can actually see the ink coming out of these sections just little bits at a time so that sort of oscillating that the ultrasonic cleaner is doing is actually just releasing some of that dried up ink and you can really see it starting to come out here on this pen on the left that's a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero the Positano blue there but you can see that ink will come out of these over time and you can even see how that's oscillating because that little sort of thing that's sort of moving around there that is actually a nib uh, unit that normally goes over the nib and feed and you can see how that is just spinning round and round because the oscillating that's going on there in the ultrasonic cleaner is actually forcing because it it's very lightweight um, and it's not being weighed down like the nibs uh, and the feeds and the sections are there but you can now really start to see this ink coming out here of of some of those pens so an ultrasonic cleaner is probably the best and the easiest way to clean your pens uh, if you do have obviously celluloid or ebonite like I mentioned I wouldn't really do that if you really wanted to do that I would just put the nib and feed in there uh, and then not submerge the the section or the pen uh, I also you have to be a little bit careful because in an ultrasonic cleaner you can remove plating like gold plating 
or um, any other kind of plating that you might get, like ruthenium plating on a nib or trims. So you do have to be a little bit careful there, um, not to leave it in there for too long. Uh, also, you really want to use cold water. You can get ultrasonics that, and this is an ultrasonic cleaner that just um, will only use cold water. It doesn't have a heater element to it. Uh, you can get ones that do heat up. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that because that can also create problems. Once you run through maybe four, five, six cycles, you will find the water actually going from cold to slight tepid warm. Uh, but again, that's not going to damage your nibs or, or your pens in general. So you can see here, really, I've, I've got a number of sections. Uh, like I've taken the nib and feed out of a couple of these whiter sections because they have got a little bit of ink staining going on there. Um, now, you can't always get all ink staining out of pens because a lot of ink will actually actually be absorbed into the material and once that happens you can't actually unfortunately get it as clean as as perhaps new but for most colored sections you shouldn't have any problems there for me I don't probably use the ultrasonic cleaning bath enough for my nibs I tend to go old school and just use a, a, a bulb syringe, a bulb flusher, uh, if it's a, a converter, or I will just stand there at the sink and just rinse the, the nib and feed off if it's a piston or power vac, and then just suck up the ink and then expel it, suck it up, expel it, and keep doing that until pretty much the water's around about 90% clear. Um, I, I tend not to make it so that it's a hundred percent clear I know normally at 90 percent that if there's any ink in there it's probably not going to react with another ink I put in and it's probably also not going to change the color of the the new ink that I put in there either so as you can see that this sort of ink bath now this ultrasonic cleaner has now turned the water more of a, a greeny blue uh, and you can see there the water is still shimmering with the, the lights there that are reflecting off of the water. So the pens or the, the nibs, the sections are not moving around that much. And there's a lot less ink coming out of those nibs and feeds now. If you really wanted to do it really well, I would say flush with a, 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 a uh, bowl filler first. And then do an ultrasonic cleaner bath, maybe three, four, five of those cycles. And then flush again with a bowl filler. Uh, I think at that point you are going to get your your pens, your nibs, your feeds extremely clean at that point. You can also use uh, some pen flush uh, sort of liquid. Uh, you could put that in here as well if you wanted to. I typically don't. You could put some detergent or soap or washing up liquid in there as well. Typically I don't either. And there you can see now. I've pulled them out, just given it a little shake, and now I will just go and dry the nibs off. So that's my video of how to clean a pen with an ultrasonic cleaner. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.